gentlemen, now we are going to discuss this electro-pneumatic control system. And we have three episodes to watch. Number one is at the PowerPoint. Number two is at the whiteboard. It is uh, easier for you to understand. And number three is the actual at the laboratory trainer. So let's go. Let's watch the videos. We are here at the electro-pneumatic control system. And we are going to discuss what about with the electron pneumatic control system? So what we can find here is the main component of the pneumatic system, which represents the air compressor. It builds up air pressure for our system. So the air passes through with the filter, and we have here the regulator, goes into the lubricator that lubricates into the system, goes into our controller, which is the directional valve. In here, the directional valve we have two solenoid touch. We have here the five two-way directional valve. We have here the double acting cylinder. This is for our pneumatic control system. And on the starboard side, we have here the electrical control circuit. We have here the SB1, which is the sub start button one, start button two. And we have the relay, the solenoid, relay two, solenoid two. And we have the normally opens contact R1 and R2. Okay, so we are going to simulate switching on the power, which is starting the air compressor, and switching on the electrical control circuit. Through compressed air, we have to check the pressure gauge here. So there should be pressure inside the receiving tank. And we are going to open now the valve so that we have control air into our system. Passes through the filter, the regulator, and the lubricator. Of course, we check that the regulated air is okay to control our system. Now our objective is to push the piston from inward position to outward or the piston goes into the starboard side. So let's just push the start button one. Then as the start button one closes, we can let the current flows into the relay one to energize relay and closing the normally open contact R1 so that the current can flow through to our solenoid, energizing solenoid K1, and we have here the solenoid energizes. And we move the spool into the right side, showing that the directional valve, we are at the position one, then the control air passes, passing through this arrow, going to this line, and should push the piston outward. Now we have here, we have the piston, on the subward position or at the outward position. So lifting the finger off with the SB1, the energizing relay one and opening the close contact R1 to de energize the solenoid K1 here with the energized, we lift the piston as it is. So now our objective is to push the piston back or piston inward or the piston brings into the port side position. So let's just push the start button number two. By closing the start button number two, we can let the current flows into our relay two, energizing relay two and closing the normally open contact R2 to so let the current flow into the solenoid K2 and energizing K2, we have here the solenoid energizers and moving spool bulb, we are now at the position two. So we have this air passing through this arrow to this line and pushing the piston backwards or into the port side position. By lifting your finger into start button two, we open the line and the energizing the relay R2 and opening the close contact R2. So the energizing the solenoid K2 the solenoid K2 de-energizes and the piston stays where it is. So we go with the next episode. Okay, good day all. Now we are going to discuss regarding the electron pneumatic control system. And here we will discuss first the electron pneumatic control system. I have made this one for you to easily understand how does the component of the electron pneumatic control circuit works? So we have this electrical diagram. Okay, let's discuss. We can find it here from our diagram that we have this source 24 volts 
DC and we have the return zero volts or uh, usually calls it the return of the negative side. Okay, this is the positive, this is negative. And we have here the components. We have the start button one, start button two, meaning to say we have two start buttons. And we have the relay one, relay two, meaning we have two relays. And we have the solenoid K1, solenoid K2, meaning we have two solenoids. We have this relay one, and we have this normally open contact relay one, and we have this relay two, we have this normally open contact relay two. Let us just simulate the diagram. We started the source by just switching on the circuit breaker. We can start any of these two because we have here this first circuit and we have this second circuit. We can start SB1, we can start SB2. Starting SB1 is by just pushing this SB1. I have pushed the button SB1. Then, of course, the rest are open and we have not the current passing through our relay one. Relay one will energize. And since Relay 1 is being energized, Relay 1, R1, the normally open contact will close. Meaning, the current now can pass through to solenoid K1. It is closed, the current now is energizing solenoid K1. Then, that solenoid in the actual, in the, in the pneumatic control system, will activate the directional valve. For this diagram, now the solenoid activates or energizes. So I lift out my finger, then automatically the relay will de energize. And since re the relay de energized, this will go goes back to normally open position. And since this normally open contact from the relay one will open, now the current can pass through and it will de-energize the solenoid K1. And when de-energizing the solenoid K1, then there is no more activation of the directional valve through the piston. Now let's go with the other circuit. We are going to push this button, start button two. So now I push the button closing the line. Since the rest are open, only from here the current can pass through to, to energize relay 2. Since relay 2 is being energized, then this normally open contact R2 will close. And now this is closed, the current from the source goes this way and passing through R2, which is now closed, then it will energize solenoid K2. Okay? And solenoid K2 activates the directional valve, pushing this, the, this directional valve, push the piston and wherever uh, the piston was positioned before, either inward or outward, but it will really move the piston because we energize this solenoid ketone. Now, I am taking out my finger. So, by opening the line, then the current cannot pass through we de-energize this relay 2 or R2. Since relay 2 is being de-energized, then it will automatically open the R2, uh, R2 terminal. Since now the, the, the line is open, there is no more, no more current passing through, then solenoid K2 will de-energize. That is the simple explanation of how does this diagram works. Okay, so this is our electron pneumatic control circuit. This is our agro pneumatic laboratory failure. We are going to simulate all what we have learned, all what we have discussed from our lecture, the electron pneumatic control system. We are going to wire this uh, laboratory failure so that we can move the piston. We are, we are going to discuss first the components. In here, we have the main air compressor which produces air. We have here the regulator, the filter, regulator, and the lubricator. We have here the directional valve, and we have this symbol, five two-way directional valve. With this directional valve, 
there are two solenoids attached. With this directional valve, we have only one solenoid attached, and this is with return spring. So as per the symbol, there is return spring. So we have here the cylinder. It is called double acting cylinder because we have one port here and one port here, meaning the piston moves out there by activating this port or the piston goes back by activating this port. At the moment, the wiring connections is still empty. So we are going to rewire this one according to our diagram. Okay, so we will just follow this diagram to rewire our laboratory trainer. We have here three relays. We have here the R1, we have here the R2, we have here the R3. And you will know the functions of the relay if you watch my other videos regarding the relay. To continue with our uh, pneumatic laboratory trainer, what you can see here is there are already wires being connected. We wired the connections according to the diagram. Since our laboratory is ready, we are going to start now the air compressor to build up pressure. So the air compressor is running. May masyado maingay. Ito yung natin mag-build up ng pressure. We can find it here that we have already pressure in the air receiving tank. We are now going to open this A receiver outlet valve. And we can find there is already pressure in the regulator. And with our controller, we are now going to power on the circuit. Switching on the circuit breaker. And now we are going to push the button SB1. The laboratory trainer is ready. Now we are going to simulate what, uh, whatever we discussed from our previous study. That's what we have here at this, our electrical diagram. So I will start now pushing the button, start button one. And you will find it here that the piston activates. Here. So this is just how does the electro pneumatic control system works from our pneumatic control system and to our controller which is our electrical circuit. So this is it. If you have any comments, questions, please just type below your comments and I will answer whatever queries you have. Thank you.